Stopper is the one that we're talking about. It started up in 2013 in Mumbai as an online exam preparation platform for practice and tests that aim to complement the classroom coaching uh, for students. So what's the journey been like and uh, what does the future hold for this company? Zishan Hayat is here to tell us that uh, story. Sure. So Topper is a learning app for 5th graders to 12th graders. It supplements your school learning. Yeah. Uh, it supplements uh, your classroom learning with lectures practice material, tests and doubts. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can watch video lectures at your pace, you can practice as many questions as you want, you can ask doubts 24-7 on a chat based module. How have you worked that out uh, considering there is uh, enormous competition in this space? We are heavily invested in engineering and product management. Uh, we are spending a lot there because ultimately for our users, the user experience and what the experience on the app is is what matters. We have to create very deep content so that it suits every person's, every student's unique need. Mm -hmm. uh, so all that uh, rolls up in, into the product part. So that's the high cost that we have to incur so upfront. Looking at the road ahead uh, right. with 400 million students in both rural and urban areas for right. the asking, yeah. uh, the number of exams growing, yeah. um, the entire education setup getting so competitive, uh, what are the targets that you've sent, uh, set for yourself? Right now we are at a 2 million subscriber base. Uh, I think this 2 million number can easily go up to 40 million in the sh like medium term over the next 3 to 4 years and at scale I think at least 75 to 80 million users in India should be trying out Topper. Right. So that's the roadmap for our user base. Right now we are present in 12 cities with a sales force. Uh, I think we will be present in close to 40 cities by next year end. Sure. Yeah. So I think uh, ultimately the consumer decides based on on the product, right? Not on, not based on your advertising or on your sales team or nothing, right? So ultimately, product wins, and uh, we we aggressively pursue certain product metrics that help us know where we are, right? Uh, the two metrics that are really important to us are engagement mm -hmm. and retention. So our engagement metrics are like students spend 100 minutes per active day uh, on a, you know, so they're spending more than one and a half hours on a daily basis. This is beyond their school time, right? So they come back and are spending the time on the app learning. So that's, that's, that's a lot. Right. Uh, so we believe that we are beating our competition by a huge margin on the engagement part. Mm -hmm. uh, on the retention part also we, you know, it's, it's slightly technical but you know, there's a D90 retention on the 90th day how many users come back. Ah, right. Uh, so on that, in that specific period, one third of our users come back. Right. On a single day, which means that, you know, like close to maybe 80-90% users are coming back every month. Right. Uh, so the, com a combination of these two, high engagement and high retention makes a product like much more relevant for the user and we believe that we are in that spot. Now we just have to get more users. You have been in business since 2013. Uh, the user base is growing and the opportunity like I said uh, is very much there. The product is uh, the only edge you have as uh, far as engagement is concerned. You've got 100 minutes per day clocked in already by yes. some of your users, yes. so, uh, which is a great sign. So the signs look good and uh, the business is uh, swimming along. So thank you very much for joining us and great luck for the future. Thank you. Thank you. That's uh, Zishan Hayat of Topper.